All right, folks, how you doing? Russell True Results 303.com. Check out the website, link in the description box, Mind, Body, Spirit, Fitness. Putting the healing back in health once again when you're at the website. Sign up for the free newsletter. Check out the free downloads at the free gift button. Check us out and like our social media pages, Facebook, Google+, Twitter, True Results 303, no E. And the podcast is out, True Results 303. Coming at you today with the spiritual video on when you shouldn't go to confession. So this one is going to be aimed more towards my Catholic brothers and sisters, right? Because we're the only ones that have confession that I know of. Uh, so listening to some of the talks and interviews that I listened to, this was a good point that was brought up. So we've got to understand the difference between mortal and venial sin, right? Venial sin is the small things. Mortal sin is going to be geared more towards the Ten Commandments versus if you do, you know, you can talk to, if you, Father Larry Richards, I think, is who I actually got this this concept from, but he talks about, you know, how gossip can be a mortal sin because people kill themselves over the horrible things that are said about them, but I'm not going to go there, but when you shouldn't go to confession, he brought this up and I thought it was a great point. We've got to understand that confession is more for uh, mortal sin, not the venial sin, not the small things. We've got to understand that when we go to church and we consume the body and blood of Christ, the Eucharist, that is going to rid us of venial sins. Okay, so if it's a venial sin, we really don't need to go to confession, but we've got to understand that confession is still a great thing. So going every one to two months is usually a good idea. You know, the Catholic Church says once a year. So at least go once a year. Um, but the reason why, and once he brought this up, I thought it was a great point. We've got to understand that some people haven't been to confession in forever. Years. And if they see this line as long, then they're not going to want to go. They don't want to wait, right? And what does it matter to them? They haven't been to confession in however many years anyways, right? Sorry, I'm doing some dishes and rattles during this stage so I'll make it real quick so we've got to understand that you know not going to confession weekly bi-weekly and things like that is hopefully going to get more people into confession because the line's not so long and they will want to go if the line isn't as long so then they don't have to wait so there is a time and place to go to confession and a time and place not to go to confession so I hope that helps I hope it gives you food for thought, but make sure you are going. You know, it's always going to be a good thing. So, hope that helps. Don't forget to check us out on social media, True Results 303, Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. The podcast, True Results 303, on all major podcast players. And then, of course, you came here because of a religious video, but remember that, we are, that I also have exercise videos, nutritional videos, other spiritual motivational videos, um... Uh, you know, there's just a, a wide variety of videos. So, I hope this helps. Subscribe to this channel. Share and like these videos.